Echo has always been a passion for me because I just, I guess I love it a little too much. Sherry Gibson is an echo sonographer with lots of heart. An echo is an ultrasound of the heart. When I walk in a patient's room, I introduce myself and I say, um, I'm going to do a picture of your heart, it's just ultrasound. An echocardiogram, often referred to as an echo, is used by physicians to assess, diagnose, and manage heart problems. SONO stands for sound or sound waves. So sonographers are people that do ultrasounds of some sort. Echo sonographers are heart sonographers. Heart disease was the number one killer in South Carolina in 2015. In a state troubled by heart problems, echo sonographers play a very important role in the treatment of patients. The echocardiogram is operator dependent. That is why the skill level of each and every sonographer is so very important because if we don't create a proper picture for the reading physician, things can be missed. Gibson knows that professional development is important. For more than 25 years, she has been passionately providing continuing education classes to echo sonographers in the PD region, the northeastern corner of South Carolina. The PD Echo Society, it's been um, formed since the early, late 70s, early 80s. For pretty much 25 to 30 years, we've been having pretty regular meetings. And mainly it's to help educate area sonographers. Anybody and everyone can participate. And the sonographers are able to keep up their CMEs. That's their continuing education credits. By just looking at cases and then they ask you a series of questions to get you... Initially provided in-house to McLeod staff in Florence, the training later expanded to their other facilities through video conferencing technology. The transition was facilitated by the PD Area Health Education Center. It's just gotten so much easier with the tele communication because then we can pick up all of our area hospitals as well. This is really increasing attendance and making it more possible for people in the area to, to come on board. Okay, I think I'm seeing something already. Just like in the conventional sense that we would have like a presenter in a meeting room that would put their computer projected up onto a screen, we can do that locally for those that are locally attending, but then we can mimic that remotely to those that are attending from a remote viewing area. So they may be in a meeting room, large or small, that they get the same two-way interaction with the people or the presenter. Lori Smith attends the training at one of the viewing sites at McLeod Seacoast, 20 minutes from Merle's Inlet Heart and Vascular, the place where she works. She is the only echo sonographer in her clinic. What helps me, who's just in this small room scanning, I don't have another sonographer to say, hey, what do you think? Or I cannot get this certain view. What we learn in uh, each of the uh, meetings with um, the telehealth, we can then take it back to our jobs and think about what was said, say, the night before and improve our studies. And therefore, as we improve our studies, the patients benefit from it. The telehealth course saves her valuable time and allows her to stay local. So we would drive to Florence, which was two hours one way and two hours back. So by the time I would get actually home, it'd be like 11 p.m. at night. And the telehealth saves me so much time. I don't have to take off work. Plus we get the two CME credits. We work as a team and we yes, um, take our cases and I tell them, I say, look guys, I'm not always got to be the one that's got going to do all the talking. Please, if you've got a burning topic you'd like to speak on, I'll be happy to give you that opportunity. Okay, um, beautiful, beautiful images. As echo sonographers and partners continue to work together, Gibson says their goal remains the same, serving people with all their heart. Our goal is to make everyone in the McLeod family and anywhere anywhere else to be excellent at what they do. Because I know if I were coming in for an echo exam, I would want it to be done correctly and with skill because it could very well affect my life. And that's what we're after. Quality, skill, and being the best. <laughs>